Hello, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we gonna look exercise number 4-3. In this video tutorial, uh, the exercise 4-3 required, we need to modify the exercise 4-1. The solution of exercise 4-1 is already uploaded and the link is available under description. Okay, so let's start further. In this exercise, we need to add the agent rate and the 16 hours are divided into 8 2 hours shift and the agent rates are uh, standard actually when one agent goes on the break immediately upon return the next agent goes on break and until all agents have had their break and the break start at the time of 90 minutes into each shift and each agent is given one 15 minutes break and agent lunch break is 30 minutes are also scattered starting at 3.5 hours into each shift. The agents are rude and if they are busy when break time comes around they just leave anyway and wait the passenger wait until break time is over before finish up that passenger. So we need to actually compare the result of both the simulated model with and without the agent break. So let's move to the arena home screen. Okay, so we are on Arena home screen panel or here you can see the under the basic process we first uh, drag the create module for creating the entities into the system and the name of this create module is travel arrival and the entity type is traveler and its time distribution is follow 1.5 minutes and it is randomly distributed. These details are actually mentioned under the exercise 4-1 section. After that, we need to add the station and station module is added using the advanced transfer panel. And in this template, you can simply drag the station module and rename it as the module name arrival station module and the station name is arrival station. This is actually the station where the entities come. Uh, like you can see on this animated window. This is the arrivals uh, entry station and this one is the uh, processing or uh, check-in station you can see. Okay, then entities are routed to the check-in station and that follow the routing time that is uniformly distributed with its parameter values of 2 and 3 and units are in minutes. You can add the route time like simply right click in the build expression and under this build expression window move to the random distribution and here you can see the uniform distribution is available uh, this one and then add its minimum and maximum value so in this way you can add the route time and the destination time is in this particular exercise is station and that station name is check-in station this option will only be available when you add this station so first you need to add another station and rename it as the check-in station and then move back to this route module to add the station name here you can also type it here but make sure you didn't uh, perform any type of mistake here otherwise the logical connection will not be built here as you can see there is no exit node through the route module because the connection is only built using the logical connection way okay so the next thing is the process module that is uh, uh, drive from the basic process template and then rename it as the chatting process and here we need to add the agents as a resource person and it follows the webull distribution with its parameters 7.78 and 3.91 minutes and units are in actually in winners and then finally travelers leave the system so how we can build the uh, 2d animation you need to move to the resource panel double click on it and then assign the agents mean the resource this is the identifier in this case and then open the current library which you want and then finally add their idle and busy states and make sure you have to check this cj option because we have actually five agents so there is right now currently one cj area is showing so what you can do simply click this point button and then click this add button in this way you can add the multiple C's areas.
and this is the process queue and these are the station this is the check-in station and this one is the arrival station that is drive from this and made or transfer toolbar okay so after that move to this uh, route node and then connect this using the route segment all right so then move to the run or setup and here you need to find the replication length which is in hours and base time units and minutes and now for adding the schedule what you can do we need to first move to the resource and in this case we need to change the agent type to base on schedule and the name of the schedule is agent schedule and the schedule rule is preempt so the details of uh, these uh, what is the difference between preempt wait and ignore is separately discussed under simulation with arena tutorial playlist so you can check out the description uh, for the related links okay so now move to the schedule spreadsheet and here you can see the agent schedule is already shown on your screen then change its type to the capacity type because in this case we are dealing or considering the capacity type and time units, uh, there are multiple options for time units, but here uh, we are using the quarter hours. And then click this duration button, double click. And then you can see the values of the agent 54545 five, as precise in the problem. And this one is the duration. How this six values actually come from? If we divide the one hour into quarter basis, then we have the four uh, duration values. And as precise uh, in the problem the break would start at 90 minutes so next half hour would also be added to the previous hour then this value is six. similarly these duration values would be calculated so you can do it on your own all right so it's done so move to the entity spreadsheet and here initial picture assignment is picture dot woman that's it so let's run the simulation to view the result or here you can see the entities are coming into the system and then these are processing all right so let's fast forward it to view the results okay so let's click this yes button and now the report uh, is open so here you can see multiple statistics values as uh, as these were asked from the question so you can cross check it but for your easiness i have already drawn a summary table on your uh, you can see on your screen for this section is actually representing the result for no braid and braid exercise problem so in exercise 4-1 the average time in system is 12 and the number of completed uh, check-in is 583 and time average number in queue is 1.98 so you can compare these stat values to the braid stat values that is 26 582 and 11 but uh, these values actually only drive from a single application so we cannot generalize these values for so we need multiple application and statistical conclusion and statistical tests actually required to uh, come up or draw some uh, conclusion to confirm either there is a difference between these two system or not so and make sure these values are in minutes because here you can see base time units in minutes so it's all about exercise 4-3 if you like this video and you want to watch these kind of videos more then consider subscribing thank you